Switch Cougar Esports. We were actually expecting to see some Rainbow Six this evening, but uh, didn't come to fruition. Unfortunately, a forfeit for our team. The Cougars will take the victory, but of course they'd rather, would, would rather play, that is. Um, so we have some bonus Overwatch for you instead. Camden County College on the blue side here, taking on Transylvania. The Bats themselves. Early on here, Transylvania with a little bit of a tackle. We have the first control point. And that percentage is building. And they definitely have full control of Transylvania, so it'll have to be a respawn now. Another day, another Here comes the push for the Cougars. You call it? Genjang gonna get us started with a kill onto Vara, but the Genji is ulting in the back line. Genjang goes down, as does Volt. And it appears that the attack here is going a little bit south, and it will be a hole. We are hold for Transylvania. The bats remain strong. That's better. So it'll be another attack here. Uh, let's take a look and see as, as the ultimates are building for the side of Kansas County College. With a kill, the Kenji. A couple of a uh, couple of members from both squads going down. Genjank and Tuka trying to get something going. It is 99%, so we are already in that overtime situation here. But the Cougars will respond. But now they're going to have to do exactly what Transylvania just did. They're going to have to hold for full 99%. And Tuka is going to be pushed out of his back here. And he will go down. Genjank here with ultimate available. But he gets pushed off. Good play from the Winston. I don't believe the Cougars will be able to get back on to site. On to the control point. Score. Zero to one. Alright, so listen, there will have to be a, a response. Time to start making up for it. Everything's going according to plan. Will have to be a response from the Cougars. We'll see will they, will they decide to change things up here. What? Round two. Capture. Genjang gonna swap over to the to the uh, Reaper. Swapping all over to the Anna. And here comes Transylvania moving in very quickly. Almond with the first kill. Genjank going to join him as well. And it looks like Cougars may have found their match here. Number three, a clean sweep. Transylvania playing very well, playing together. They'll get that first team fight win, and with it, the control point will go their way as well. Duke are going to swap over, over to the Orisa here. We have seen great Orisa play from them in the weeks past. Try to go back to a comfort. And here comes the team fight. Let's see if the Cougars can play together. Good damage being dealt, but the Lucio falling in the back line. Bolt going down as well. A bunch of damage dealers going down, as are the supports. Genjang able to trade back here to keep his team's attack alive for the moment. Reinforcements are going to be on their way here. Lucio rejoins the fight, but the tank is down in an Overwatch too. When the tank is down, that's pretty much the end of an attack. Genjang though has, you know, has has decided to uh, to just hold, waiting for his team. 
51% though, the, the, the Cougars are going to have to get something going here rather quickly. The Genji has just been problematic though. As has the Winston. Winston getting to that back line and every time that support goes down, the attack also falters. Genjank joining him. So really the Cougars have to rethink things here. The Transylvania Genji player has been very, very strong. Lucio goes down onto the site very, very quickly. Genji ultimate being used as well, and it looks like this is going to be a pretty quick one here. On map number one again, in what is a best of five, so certainly not done yet. Transylvania will take map number one. All, all, all that. All said. Play of the game. McPhee here with the Genji ultimate takes down one, two, and a third. Maybe a fourth as well, and he will be a fourth to play of the game. All right. Well, map number one. Map number one in the books. But we have a whole lot of Overwatch uh, left ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll uh, we'll get to map number two. And um, yeah, we'll, be, uh, we'll have that to you in just a couple of minutes. Cougars looking to bounce back in week number three action. Of course, the Cougars are 2-0 in Overwatch so far this season. So we'll see what happens with them here in just a little while. We will see you in just a few moments.
one. All right, everybody, welcome back. Camden County College Cougar Esports. We are going to head right back into the action here in just a moment. Map number two. Cougars looking to bounce back. They've had a moment to think it over. And now it is time to let the rubber meet the road. And we are into action right away at map number two. And very quickly, very quickly, Transylvania. The Red Squad here taking a big advantage. I'm not finished. The Maywall being used. Great effect delaying the push from the Camden County College here. And a great snipe on the lopsided loot. Tuka going awfully low, getting healed up by this Mercy, but they certainly want to get this tank down. And the team is um, fumbling, folding. Tuka going low here without his team to back him up. He would surely fall. Cougars are looking for some answers at this point. Disrupting. But I mean, listen, I think this is totally possible. Things can happen. Junkrat goes in and he'll die very, very quickly, trying to make a play. Tuka does have ultimate available as well. Breaking them down. Target's locked. Open fire. Bay wall goes down and Tuka separated from his squad and it looks like the attack from the Cougars will slow to a halt again. Cougars are looking for a big play here. Ultimates, uh, if we take a look here, uh, available on Tuka, almost available you know, on a couple of the other players as well, almost across the board. Tuka goes in, and here comes the ultimate. He'll be able to take down the May. Genjink falling into the back line, however. A one for one trade thus far. Kind of going low, having to heal themselves back up. A kill. Here we go, the Cougars with some breathing room, but it looks like at the moment the defense, Transylvania, the bats will hold. But uh, the Cougars, uh, I think, with their best opportunity there that we've seen thus far. And I mean, at the very least, if nothing else, uh, you're gonna have a situation where um, you know, there isn't much setup for, for uh, Transylvania. And really, it's this first control point that can be the challenge. Again, we're seeing the defense start to bend, but certainly not break, not yet. Tuka going low does survive. Opting to move. We have a great pick there from, from the Junkrat. Tuka as well with a kill, and this is the opportunity. Two Transylvania players are down. Genjank on the Widowmaker trying to find something. May Ultimate being used, and it will be to great effect as the attack from the Cougars just appears to be failing yet again, but very close they were. Ultimate being used by Tuka trying to buy time for his squad to respawn, but it may not be enough. It may be too little too late. All right, well. Map number two goes the way, well, doesn't quite yet go the way of Transylvania, but a great start for them. No question about it. So as we let the, the squad settle in and uh, pick all of their characters, assemble their heroes, as it were in Overwatch 2, we'll just take a step back and Mind everybody, this is Camden County College Cougar e 
Esports bring it to you. And uh, if you haven't followed the Twitch stream, uh, listen, you're here. So why not do it anyway? We would much appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that heart at the bottom right of your screen there for watching. Every every uh, every follow really I'm does help. Sorry. Right? So what uh, would be much appreciated. Um, and now we're trying to give that energy to to the Cougars. County to fight back here on defense. Um, they have their work cut out for them, however. So we'll see how it goes. See how it goes for the teams. Five, four. Three, two, one. Alright, we see the widow. The barrier that's gonna create a problem for this bastion, you would think. He's gonna move up here and do a good amount of damage. Again, it's gonna be all about this first fight that's gonna tell us everything. Will Kansas County be able to hold? Resurrection going to be used. A couple of players go down very quickly for the Cougars. One resurrection being used, but I think that that will break the defense rather quickly. Genjing having to push back here, and map number two quickly in in the books. So we'll take a look here and see what the uh, play of the game. See what the play of the game is. I am assuming this is going to be that May ultimate. When the defense appears briefly, it will, yeah, the, the defense for the tra for Transylvania was getting rather, uh, rather dicey, but, but the May, the May Ultimate decides to save the day, reigns supreme. Uh, all right, everybody, so we are, that's map number two. Again, it is a best of five, so we have at least one map. The Cougars are hoping for a three additional maps tonight. We'll see. I think that we, we we did see some some inroads in that particular map. Um, a couple of new, um, you know, a couple of new wrinkles, and, and they really did almost get that first control point. But we'll see how it goes uh, here in map number three, and we'll be back in just a moment.
Welcome back, everybody. Camden County College Cougar Esports. Bringing you Overwatch 2 action. We're heading into map number three. The Cougars are looking for a change of script here. Down 0-2 against Transylvania. The Bats, they have come to town and they have come swinging. So we'll head into map number three here in just a few moments. We'll be, uh, I believe it's Circuit Royale is map number three. Defense is the side for Transylvania. Wanting to start things off rather quickly. And we'll be payload and we are heading into the match as we speak. So here come the Cougars on the attack side here. Tuga going forward, dealing damage, getting the tank awfully low, but the Widow for the back line will prove to be too much to handle and the Cougars are going down very quickly again. The damage is certainly there. Uh, the team cohesion also appears to be there. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you. Transylvania the Cougars in only their third week together playing. There goes Widow. Absolute havoc. Several other players going down. Genjank with a kill, trading back, giving his team a chance here. It will be Axiv. Bolt and Genjank both going down, taking the Helix Rockets. B with the Soldier Selection. Yeah, with payload, I mean, I feel like this, this may benefit the Cougars in this particular situation. They are going to be able to get a little bit of breathing room. And all they need to do is push the squad of Transmedia off of the site. And they do have a couple of kills, Axis and Genjank with a pair. Tuka going low, but not, not too, too low. Staying alive, getting kills. He's pushing forward. A triple kill. And now the Cougars are working. They are making moves. The payload is moving. And there is Genjank with a snipe. Widow versus Widow gameplay being seen here. And this might be the first time we've seen Transylvania on the back foot. And the, and the control point being taken. So the defense will have to reset here. Uh, map selection so far seems to be benefiting. Um, uh, benefiting the Cougars, though up uh, one Cougar does go down. Volt getting that, uh, that that resurrection, but he'll pay he'll pay the iron price as they say for it. Tuka going low, but still staying in the fight. And here comes this. Here comes a very pivotal early team fight. Axif going down, and you you would think that this is going to be a bit of a retreat scenario for Camden County. So here we go, Transylvania holding on that second push. Bolt going awfully low. They're going to want to get. Oh, uh, they're want, going to want to get that Mercy, but Axiv there taking down McPhee, and that's an, a good early pick. A very good early pick for Camden County. Now, with only. Um, you know, this would be, this would be the opportunity for them. Duke up pushing forward. We saw this push work wonders on the first control point, but doesn't quite have the heals there. Bolt and Tuka going down. One support. And now it'll be the entire Cougar squad. The team kill. Medica technology is truly extraordinary. Person uh, No one can hide from my Let's get the payload moving again. Jank going to use his ultimate. I believe we also may have heard the uh, opposing Widow with an ultimate as well. Tuka pushing forward, almost has ultimate, in fact does. When will be used, does get stunned, goes awfully low. Soldier 76 also using his ultimate on the back line here with a flanking position. With two minutes remaining, the Cougars need to get to work rather quickly. Back in action. 
ultimates are available for three members the of the uh, Cougar squad here. I will give you shelter. Tuga pushing forward, Genjank gets sniped by the opposing Widow, and now it will come down to this play here. Tuga does get one. Can he get more? Doesn't look like it. Only one, and again, the defense, it chips away, but it doesn't yet crack for Transylvania. Genjank going down low, going to get healed up here by his, uh, his friendly, friendly, uh, Mercy. That's the that, that's the character. You'll have to bear with me, everybody. I haven't played Overwatch in a little while. Wow! It really it's it's coming down to this widow, this widow being an absolute beast. Catboy made, and the payload continues to push back here. The Cougars with maybe one or two remaining opportunities. And it's gonna really come down to that Gen can, can, can Genjen get a pop onto that soldier, and onto that Widow. Damage being dealt, but not the lethal blow, not yet. But I think the Cougars will have to regroup once more. No ultimates available, so it's gonna have to be just clean Overwatch gameplay. Genjank swapping on over to the Genji, his namesake. Tuka switching over to Reinhardt as well, so a bit of a line change here with no ultimates available. Certainly no uh, disadvantage to do that if you think you have a read. Tuka, um, actually it looked like uh, McBee may have um, Eating his own, uh, own rockets there, I'm not sure. Catboy Maid goes down as well. Tuka trying to help his back line out. And this final push has a, has some life to it. Genjank. Pika Shinks and Tuka, the remaining members for the Cougars. But the payload is moving. They're certainly going to get up this hill, you would think. But it is overtime. This push will have to continue the whole way to that second control point. Genjank gets the kill on Catboy Maid, and that is absolutely huge. That will certainly keep this push alive, you would like to think. Genjank switching that to the Genji may have been the critical maneuver. And now here comes Tuka and Genji. Genjank, Tuka with a couple of kills, and the second control point is well within reach now. Genjank does have an ultimate to spare. Catboy Maid able to trade back. And the second second point does fall. Camden County with some momentum. Genjank gets a revive here. By Volt does have ultimate available. Lucio ultimate also available. So here we go. This is the kind of momentum the Cougars were pretty much looking for. Soldier 76 ultimate being used. Down goes Hanzo, and this could be a critical moment here. Genjank with a kill, Tuka with a kill as well. A two for one trade, things getting awfully chaotic. Volt with the res onto Axif. Genjank trading back, and it is absolute chaos here. The Cougars certainly have found something. Axif with the snipe. On to Catboy Mage, who has absolutely just been the star of this Transylvania squad in map number two. For map number three, and there is a snipe on to Lucio! Map number three, the Cougars with their backs up against the wall, they very much have to have this control point. Tuka does go down, only a few seconds remaining. This will be the final push. Bolt does get the res critically onto Tuka, and they just need a three meters, four meters to get this final control point, and they will have that push. The Cougars coming together. The Crusaders. Score three to zero. Switching sides. And the Cougars can take a bit of a sigh of relief as they. 
do start to get momentum on the attacking side of things. Now it comes down to, um, it, it will come down to uh, Transylvania. Can they hold serve here? So we'll, we'll bring it back. We'll bring it back as, uh, as the teams get all situated for the next minute or so. Um, again, thank you everybody for watching. My name is Sean Wire. I'm the eSports Director here at Camden County College. We have a number of teams competing this evening. Rainbow Six taking a forfeit win. Oh, I see um, Overwatch, of course, we are watching. What are you Green wearing? Green County College students, you want to get involved, you want to do what I'm doing right now. You want to be behind the desk. You want to tell the audience what they're seeing. We want to hear from you. You want to compete with the players, we still want to hear from you. So please, please, please. Go ahead and reach out to us. Um, we we want to get want the students to involved. So. All right. We will uh, head on over to the game here in just one moment, everybody. See you in just a second. Welcome back. We are right into it. The Cougars now on the blue side, swapping sides. They will take the defensive struggle. Genjang going to stay with the Genji selection. And he'll draw first blood. Genji v Genji action, but the Lucio will fall. Does get rezzed by the Mercy. And this defense is definitely holding strong thus far. And it will be the first defense going the way of Camden County, and that's a critical moment there. Certainly makes you feel good after that push, that late game push. And really, it's the Cougars are warming up here, starting to find a little bit of something, but we saw a lot of great gameplay from Transylvania. So I don't think that uh, they're going to, cert they're not going to just uh, roll over here a kill going toward the Cougars. The res for Mercy being used. That's on cooldown. No longer available. Where is that next bit of damage going to come from? And Tuga with the kill onto the Junkrat. Ultimate being used by Tuka as well. Lucio going down on the backside. Zarya goes down as well and it might be another hole here for the Cougars. Only Mercy left remaining, and the Cougars and their defense will still will still hold. But wow, tense action here again. The Cougars certainly finding something here in map number three. Cougars are going awfully low. This might be the first sign that the defense is going to get rather uh, is going to get pushed back here. Lucio ultimate is committed here. Axif with a kill as well. Ultimate, excuse me, the, the Mercy revive was committed. And here we go. More ultimates committed. The Cougars very much want to hold this line. Zarya goes awfully low, but does have the heals from Mercy and the shield. So, so here comes a push. Minute 30. Five. And this first point here, I think, is is one that you certainly don't expect to hold if you're the Cougars. The ultimate available. Zarya with that shield has a lot of extra damage. One of the more damage-dealing tanks. Axiv. Pikachu still left alive, and it'll just be active now to here farm up, farm up the uh, Hanzo ultimate. You would think. Enemy factor calculated. Well, this was a spot that we saw uh, the Cougar struggle on on attack, so it really will. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And, um, the Transylvania, the bats really use use that um, that perch up on uh, that we we're seeing to our left there to their advantage. The Cougars not able to convert that, but they do get first blood here in this particular team fight and second blood. So uh, and Hanzo Ultimate is now available as well. Zarya not yet going down. Lucio Ultimate being committed, and now 
The bats are running for the hills. You could say they're in the belfry. I had to take the opportunity, folks. I much apologize. The cougars will hold here. So a more than a, just a sign of life for the Cougars. Very much sturdy defense for them. But here they go, using that perch. And this is what really worked for Transylvania. Really killed the clock here. Two minutes left for them. So again, the Cougars certainly need to win a couple more team fights. Zarya ultimate being used, going to claim a pair of kills. Down goes Tuka as well, and now I think the defense has been cracked. It'll have to be a reset for Camden County. Am I supposed to wait for my team? Plan. One ultimate available. It is on the Genji. Vault getting rather close to with his Mercy ultimate as well. The Cougars wanting to assemble. Will appears willing to, to just give up the second point. We didn't see Transylvania do that, and it actually worked against them, of course. Trading kills. Two for one, and this have um, Cassidy on the back line. The Cougars lost him for a moment. Genjank does get one, maybe even two, and the attack will continue. Second control point. Oh, wait. Never say never. Just the Zarya here. He does have reinforcements approaching. Axiv, Pikachu's now Volt joining the fray. Really fighting tooth and nail. Point three nine meters, and there's a headshot from Axiv. The kind of pick that they absolutely had to have here. Genjank with some damage. The Lucio ultimate being used, but not in time to save Tuka. But it doesn't much matter. Tuka's back up, and the enemy tank is down. Transylvania struggling to get this final point four. And this is important because, of course, there's a cumulative effect um, as you start to pile up these control points very quickly. The time is up, so any time that you can kill here is going to help you later on those final particular control points. All right, Volt goes down. Zarya's shield is also being used. And I think this is going to be that second control point, and it will come down to some heroics from Genjai. He'll find one and two, but not a third. Intense action, a minute and a half now. Volt goes down, trying to retreat to his team. Pikachu's here. So it'll come down to one or two stalwart defenses might just be enough. But it's gonna have to start with the very first one. Axiv goes low, but doesn't go down. Again, that is absolutely critical. Need to keep the back line honest. Here comes Tuka using his ultimate, and he's gonna push them back here, going a little bit low. Still has enough health to keep that armor up. The Zarya just doing absolutely Amazing amounts of damage, but we do see some tradebacks here. Tuka has been rezzed, but I don't believe that there are any supports left alive for Camden County. Almost, almost gets that tracer kill, does Tuka. So the first team fight will go the way of Transylvania. Pikachu's going down, trying to delay the push just a little bit, but it might be. Bad timing. Here, here comes, here comes the final push from, from Transylvania. Only six seconds remaining, but again, we're sure to head into overtime and a huge team fight win for Camden County. And just like that, the Cougars dig their heels in. Do you believe in miracles? Do you believe in comebacks? Well, the Cougars are sure to make you a believer right here. And here comes the Genji ultimate off of Genjank, using it for the last possible moment here in the final team fight, doing massive damage. Looked like at least three to four? Three to four uh, final blows there. Wow. The Cougars again just 
digging their heels in. How? What else can you say for the first two maps? It appeared as though they were getting dominated, maybe outclassed, but map number three, a different story. So, wow, very, very exciting. We are going to head into map number four, a competitive one on our hands tonight, everybody. Uh, we may even have some bonus uh, Rainbow Six after this. I've been, I've been told there might be some scrimmages happening. So it could be a full night for us. Um, so thank you so much. Um, we will head into map number four in just a moment. All right, see you soon. Oof. Well, folks, we, we, uh, we're not done just yet. We're heading into map number four in a best of five set. The Cougars um, absolutely just putting on a defensive clinic there um, at that final fight. A really decisive win for them. So now we are swapping over to another map. It's Esperanza. So um, we'll have to see how, uh, how the teams decide to play it. We have a couple of subs coming in on the side of, uh, of Transylvania University. The Bats be the Cougars here in map number four. Um, uh, so we will, uh, we will head on over in just a few seconds to the map. Camden County College Cougar Esports. Go ahead and give us a follow, Camden CC Esports. If you're here, you already know about it. Give us a follow. If you, if your friends don't know about it, let them know. All right, fantastic. We're heading right into it, everybody. Map wow. number four, the blue side, will be the Cougars here, moving as a unit. Getting jank the, the, the head of the spear here. 
Sora has been spotted out. A bit of a swap here. Genjang going low. Axiv, though, trading back. Bolt getting Axiv back in the action, but um, not for two to one, you wouldn't think. Yeah, and it looks like uh, it's just now Tuka left alive. Someone needs Spectator to lost a few, uh, <laughs> lost a, uh, what we were watching there. But now we're back. We're back, everybody. Fantastic. Uh, and the push um, is, is, uh, is starting in earnest here. Or Transylvania. Getting ready to claim that first point. Genjank and Pikachu taking a peek, seeing what they can do, seeing if they can fish for some damage. They're going to try and win the team fight here. Tuka in the front line, being healed up by Bolt. And a pair of kills trading one for one, and there is Tuka on a Catboy Maid, and he is in the back line. This Winston going awfully low. But still alive, critically, Genjank cleaning up the Pharah. And a bit of a tug of war, and Genjank with a kill! Maybe? Appeared that we. No, not a kill, excuse me, just a critical hit there, but wow, it did look rather good. I got excited. Pushing the barricade. Now the Cougars will be on the push. Threats detected. Tuka again, the front line here, pulling back, does know about the Winston, not wanting the Winston to be able to wreak too, wreak too much havoc, Winston going awfully low and he'll go down, as does the Pharah, Axib sure to follow, and it's the Genji ultimate that is going to hold the line here, but it was too many picks happening um, on the side of Transylvania, and now the Cougars with some control. Not exactly what I expected. Your team is close so close. The Push the barricade. Hey. All right, well, McPhee will start things off very quickly here. He'll get one. Tuka going down. Switching off of that Farah. Um, Bolt trying to get Tuka up alive, which I mean, would have been a big res, but honestly, with the way that went there, not really expecting too, too much. Axiv now just trying to, to get out of this situation to conserve some of that respawn time, but he'll go down as well. And now, but clearly the Cougars, this is a different team and a different situation than what we had been seeing in maps one and two. Tuka moving to the Roadhog here, trying to make some big plays with the hook. Does go down low, of course. Doesn't have as many damage mitigation options. Does have that self heal. We'll see if that's gonna be done. How that'll work here in this particular situation. Genjank getting killed by Catboy Maid. And it's gonna have to be some trade backs here, or else the first point will fall. The defense, the push now on the side of Transylvania. Jokers around here. I mean, and really, the eyes are all on what's happening to these. You know what? What is happening to these uh, these backline characters? It's really coming down to this Catboy made the again jank, and there he goes, getting the V off the board. Bolt does go down. That is one of the support players. Winston goes awfully low. Axiv switching to the Bastion does get slept up by that Anna. Now Genjank with a kill on the soldier. And now they're looking for just a little bit more. Winston going so low finally does go down. And the Cougars very much in control of this one. McPhee does get a trade back onto Genjank. Winston has just been absolute, an absolute menace. Lucio Ultimate going to be committed here, trying to keep his tank healthy, trying to keep the team healthy in this team fight. Tuka's mech does go down, so really no tank for the moment for the time being. And Winston is looking for, for more, is ulting. Genjank 
almost gets the kill there, and Tuka gets the kill onto Winston in the back of that fight. The soldier ultimate being committed a little too hastily. And here is Genjank with the high ground. And the Cougars are in a rhythm, definitely heating up in this match here they have come to play. <laughs> and if you've heard this caster, you've definitely heard me say, we'll not go quietly into the night, and I think that's exactly what we can say about the Cougars right here, right now. There is that point taken. Which again is going to be critical to hold serve at the very least. We're going to be looking for... Oh, Tuka with a kill there, a snipe onto the Submetro. Pretty huge with that. Uh, but we have um, the ulting Genji into the back line. Does get one, two, and three. So it might that might be the end of that push. <laughs> a very good push for the Cougars, but now it becomes now it's about stopping that push. It's about the defensive side. Lucio getting mixed into things here in the middle. Does go a little bit low. Switches to those heels. Going to try and keep himself alive. Tuka swapping to the uh, Reinhardt. And McPhee in the back line takes down Bolt. They're absolutely going to need to get him down. Symmetra going down in the front line. Winston going awfully low. But have they lost track of the Genji? Genji who is still mixing into this fight. As we can see, Bastion Axe going to have to back up here. It got awfully dicey. Genjank does have ultimate on with Cassidy. And has a bit of a flank. And I think that's going to be the play here. Use that flanking ultimate when there are no shields available. They have gotten that Symmetra low many times. Out of the fight early many times. But it hasn't resulted in team fight wins. The Reinhardt Shield going to get absolutely melted. The Winston is into the back line. He's onto the Cassidy, but his team is absolutely going to have to help him. Here comes the ultimate from Cassidy on Genjank. Genjank on Cassidy, I should say, does get one, but that's all. Oh, and the Reinhardt ultimate will just go a little wide. Or a little long, perhaps. I stand with you. Minute 50 left remaining in this particular match. Oh, Lucio going going a little too far there. Catboy made is going to start things right, but Tuka into the back line as well. Does get one. Looks for a second. Does find a second, and the team fight has gotten chaotic. Maxiv down as well. Not too much time left. Lucio going down quickly again in this team fight. Genjank fishing, <laughs> looking for a little bit of something. But the Cougars very much alive in this one. Genjank is absolutely looking for a home run play here. The opposing Genji is moving forward, does have ultimate. He'll find one. And it will look like the defense for the Cougars will collapse there. Not exactly but now no Genji ultimate available for Transylvania, so um, this is absolutely the time. Absolutely the time for the Cougars. Bolt firm, Bolt falling into the back line. And Jank as well, this Winston just getting ahead of things, getting into the back line. Now it might, I don't know if the Cougars will have any sort of last dish effort. Genjank gonna get shielded off here. There is a, there is a contest, Tuka swapping to, uh, to the hamster. Just to get on the site very, very quickly, buy some time. Genjank as well with Tracer, trying to get some mobility, trying to find something. They're gonna have to find again, there's gonna have to be a bit of a home run play. Bolt getting the revive, and um, it will be uh, Transylvania backing off, not wanting to get too much up here. Lucio dying. Now Tuka onto this site. He's gonna have to try and find 
something for his team, but it just won't be there. McPhee's Genji uh, definitely was a problem. Several ultimates claiming somewhere between two and three kills every single time. And that's exactly what we'll see here. One of those many times where the defense was cracked, the push was moved the other direction. All right, well, there you have it. So that is um, map number four going the way of Transylvania, and that will be the match for Transylvania. The bats reign supreme tonight. The Cougars look at a bounce back next week on Overwatch. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And we will be... Um, stay tuned. We may actually have some bonus, some bonus Rainbow Six action here in just a couple of minutes. At least there is that chance. Um, so I will take a pause just to see if that's possible. Um, and, um, and I'll let you guys know in just a couple moments. All right, thank you.
All right, everybody. Um, so we will not, unfortunately, have any any Rainbow Six this evening. Um, scrimmage is already well underway. So no way to spectate that. However, we will have some bonus Rainbow Six Siege either tomorrow or Thursday night, just to make up for that, um, to make sure that we get all the teams out there. We do have Smash competitions tomorrow night at 6, tomorrow evening. Hoping to get some streams, some footage of that as well. So uh, best of luck to our players heading out for that. So um, that we, will, we are going to sign off, however. Um, so we did see, of course, Transylvania beat uh, Camden County College Cougars, Cougar Esports, three to one. But ultimately, the Cougars started to find a little bit of something there. Very interested to see how they bounce back next week. We will see them here Tuesday, Tuesday night, next Tuesday, that is seven o'clock. Um, streams to look forward to, again, that Rainbow Six. We are going to stream that either Wednesday night or Thursday night. And of course, we will have Counter-Strike here um, Friday night at seven. Uh, we may also have some NBA 2K um, on that same Friday. And then League of Legends on Saturday. So listen, come here, uh, tune in. Lots of content, lots of excitement. And don't forget to reach out. Again, you want to go to camdencc.edu slash esports, sign up for our mailing list, reach out to me. Do you want to get involved with the, um, the production side of things? Student volunteers, very much welcome there. Do you want to be on this side of the camera? Do you want to tell um, the, uh, the audience what they're seeing? Be exciting, be engaging. Do you want to be a player? A lot of ways to get involved, so please reach out. Everyone have a great night. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.